we've got a nice uh, hard hammer here, hammer piece of steel. Uh, let's see what we can do with this. Tighten that up. <clears throat> and this is an older hammer too, so it's probably going to be a little bit harder than your average stuff that you're going to find at the hardware store today. Ready? It. I don't know if it's the mag drill or what that's causing that to, to magnetize, but um, yeah, you can see we've got nice big chunks coming off of there, uh, and they're just hanging out. Um, drilled it really nice. I mean, just a nice controlled, uh, smooth drill. Uh, it just drilled right into that, no problem at all. Like I said, I don't know exactly what this would be. On the, on the Rockwell hardness scale, but getting up into your tool steels and your hammers, um, you know, this is a, this is a decent quality uh, steel. And for it to just kind of slip through right that, like that, um, you know, shows that it's a good quality bit. Uh, nice big chunks coming out of it. You're not gonna get the big spirals like you're gonna get out of a 118 degree bit, uh, but this bit is going to, the flatter angle supports it better to drill into the harder steels and support that pressure. Um, you'll notice I'm not using a lubricant. I highly recommend that you use a lubricant, but I am testing this the way that people actually use tools. Uh, you get a guy that's, uh, you know, out on the job site that's making uh, 12 bucks an hour. He doesn't care how these drill bits perform. He doesn't care how they get taken care of. He just loads it up in a drill and starts drilling. Um, and that's what they're going to go through. If you so choose to take care of your tools and your products and, and use a cutting oil or cutting lubricant or, you know, set up an oil rig with your press, that's great. And I do highly, highly recommend that. Uh, but it's not always the case, in the, especially in the work field, construction, the gravel industry, mining industry, they don't care. They load it up. They've got a problem. They've got something that's costing them millions of dollars and they need to drill it out and get it done and get it done fast. Uh, so they just chuck it up and drill it. So that's why I'm showing you that way. Um, you know, we are drilling uh, at a pretty controlled spe speed in a controlled environment, uh, but we will check this up in the hand drill and, and test it out that way too. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, Right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact, leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe, share, and like. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.